It's the first top 20 meeting between Georgia and Georgia Tech since 2000, but the Bulldogs are looking for their first eight game winning streak in this series in the school's history. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you on the College Football Previews presented by AT&T. Let's bring in Spencer Tillman to break it all down. And, uh, you know, Spence, when you get into the recent history of this series, it, it doesn't necessarily have the play of Ohio State, Michigan or the Iron Bowl, which will also be played this weekend. But when you look at Georgia Tech and Georgia, it, it's a fierce rivalry as well. Yeah, it is a fierce rivalry. And again, when you look under the hood a little bit closely, you can see that jobs have been won and lost as a result of the outcomes of these games. And then you, you and I talked off camera about the, the history there. But listen, this is important for both teams. One is on the rise with a tremendous uh, offense that makes it difficult for teams. Talking about Paul Johnson, now Georgia Tech. And then uh, on the opposite side, Mark Rick. His team is struggling a little bit right now. They could use some positive news. So both of them have motivating factors. They're two teams headed in opposite directions in many regards. Uh, so they need some good things to happen. Well, Mark Rick has never lost in this series uh, since taking over for, for Jim Donnan. Uh, I think the common thought, though, Spence, in this is that Georgia will win its eighth straight in the series. But reality strikes and you know they got handled soundly by Alabama same thing with Florida right. they eked out wins against Kentucky and Auburn now they have had a bye to get ready for this game but you mentioned it their defense is not necessarily uh, where it should be why can't That's Georgia right. Tech pull off the upset well, they can pull off the upset. I mean, first of all, there's an opportunity there when you see that double-digit ranking in terms of defense on the part of Georgia, ranked 10th in the SEC. I mean, Willie Martinez is known for putting out athletic defenses, assignment uh, defenses, defenses that play with integrity, uh, fitting in their gaps and all of that. But one of the things we saw last week was Georgia Tech against Miami, who's, yes, younger, but equally as athletic, in my mind, as Georgia's is. Uh, they were handled. I mean, they were arm tackling, standing up right, straight, uh, getting run over by big Jonathan Dwyer. And so when you look at that, I've got to scratch my head and say, man, uh, this 10th ranked defense of Georgia better come ready to play and play assignment football, otherwise a triple option, which tends to mitigate the athleticism of a team. You have to play discipline. It's not about speed and quickness. It's about discipline and control. They better be careful because uh, there could be another upset on the line here. Well, that triple option and that discipline ran for more than 470 yards against Miami uh, last weekend. All right, there's your Georgia defensive issues. It's kind of been the problem uh, this season for the Bulldogs. They've, they've had those defensive lapses a little bit leaky, although they do have great players on defense. Offensively, it's not as big of an issue. This offense is great. What will they do? Yeah. What will they look to do against Georgia Tech's defense? Well, first of all, they're going to help their defense out as Georgia's offense by Matthew Stafford being a good steward of this offensive system and allowing uh, his great runner, Sean Marino, to carry the ball probably over 50% of the time. I'm talking about in terms of controlling the pass-run ratio. If they can do that, then what that tells you is that slow, a little bit more plodding uh, offensive system, which tends to be uh, endemic to all triple threat options, uh, keep them off the football field. If you keep them off the football field, you're going to have a chance to let your prolific offense do its job in a methodical way and just drain them of all their energy and their excitement. One thing is interesting, you note, when these triple option teams get behind, it becomes difficult for them to catch back up because they don't want to be forced into throwing the football. When they do that, they're not in their wheelhouse. That's not a strength for them, and it's very difficult to, to erase uh, deficits. And as we've seen with Navy in the past, and of course Air Force this year, and Navy as right. well, and not, Georgia Tech as well, who's running the what you're, the, with the triple option, they don't throw the ball. Uh, Josh That's Nesbitt right. has not had to throw the ball, I believe. It's less than 100 times this season. Spence, these games have been close of late, uh, with last year uh, the exception. Two years ago was a three-point game. Three years ago was a seven-point game. They play physical games. They play close games. A lot of times they play low-scoring games. What's your outcome for this one? Well, you know, Mark Richt, and I'm going to get off script here a little bit, is one of my favorite coaches. But I think his team is struggling right now. And conversely, I think that Georgia Tech is, is reeling. Um, uh, not reeling, they're, they're actually on a run now. And I think that they're going to cause some problems for this, this Georgia team. I'm not shocked if they beat them by more than a touchdown. And it's going to be an upset in some people's mind. But if you look at the tape year long and the ascent of both these teams and the struggles of the other, uh, it won't be a surprise at all. That's well, one of the reasons they brought in Paul Johnson is to beat Georgia because Chan Gailey could not beat uh, Georgia in his six years there in Atlanta. Spencer Tillman, thank you very much, sir. We'll see how it all plays out.
Okay, Jason, we'll see you, buddy. All right, folks, and don't forget, for more on this game, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Uh, it is a game on CBS on Saturday, and, of course, for that, you could also see it on CBSSports.com. It's the SEC Live presented by AT&T. It's a triple header this weekend. Friday, you got Arkansas LSU, and Saturday, Georgia, Georgia Tech, and then also the Iron Bowl, Auburn and Alabama. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horvitz. You can see him all weekend on CBS. Take care, folks.